Oh, you're really good. You've taken good notes. You're nodding with the camera. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's Festool Friday. It's 12 noon. It's Friday. I just said that, and this is Festool Live. Boy, do we got an episode planned for you. All right, and it will really sound good. Okay, hey, over here we have Big D. Hey, everybody. Okay, is he doing this right? So far. He's okay. On the board, we have Minnie. Say hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie. On the line, <laughs> we have Brent Shively answering all your questions that we don't get to. And behind the camera today, we have Garrett Sato, our vid new videographer. Chris is tuning in right now. He is in Wisconsin on a fishing excursion. I wonder how, I didn't even know you fished, unit. <laughs> We're all trying to say, I wonder what he's going to try to catch up there. So I hope you're having fun, Chris. We really miss you. Well, everybody in the room misses you except for me. So everybody, let's have a great episode. And what are we talking about? What's this called? Wall of Sound. Festool Wall of Sound. Whew. Boy, have I learned a lot in the last month getting ready for this one. Over the years... And this will be talking about a little bit of innovation as well. I'm not going to go too into what I've already talked about prior. <clears throat> if you go back and look at the other episodes about the cis rock or the top rock, I really d do deep dives into how everything works. But I wanted to start it off to let you know about what we have available for you on the job site or in the shop. And if we walk right over here, this is what we call... The Sys Rock. Okay, I'm gonna. Tr it, it does not have an internal battery, but it does come with a um, uh, electrical plug-in, so you can use it off a power supply or off the um, outlet and the electricity in the room. <clears throat> it works with one of our 18 volt batteries, and what's nice about it is super easy. You just hit this button, it comes on. Okay, uh, it has Bluetooth, it has a ra FM radio on it, and you can also plug in for other devices right up top here. It has a great runtime on it, and look, I'm, am I already up on it? I am. Let's uh, turn on my, it already Bluetooth right to my phone, and I have something already queued up. Let's listen to it. Can you guess what this song is in the first few notes? Oh, no, no. You could turn it up here or from your phone. Okay, I'm gonna stop it and save it for the top rock. Okay, now you can also get in here, Garrett, so we can see this. It is, it's synced right now perfectly to my uh, Bluetooth on my phone. The source, you can actually hit this. Source tells you I could have it on a radio and I could tune it back and forth and I have four different ways of, of a memory. So I can get four stations or I can go to auxiliary. I can actually hit one and answer my phone in the middle of it. Okay, and it's pretty simple. And, I, and the rest is that's how you sync it with Bluetooth. It's pretty simple. It comes with basically an indestructible um, antenna on here. And this was our first entry into a job site radio for everybody. But also you can put it on your tripod. You can put it on the magnetic base that we offer and put it anywhere around the job site. So that's what we call the cis rock. Whew, boy, that took a long time, huh, man? Yep. Okay, next on, <laughs> when, I, when I was setting up for this week, I'm always, how do they say, Sedge is technology challenged. Uh, I did, hey, Garrett, <laughs> stop nodding the camera. <laughs> But what I didn't realize, Minnie, you're gonna freak out. You know all these new monitors we have in the building? Yeah. They're Bluetooth compatible. Oh, wow. So what happens is when I start to sync my top rocks, everything is trying to, how do you say, Bluetooth with my phone. So hopefully I get this right. This is the top rock, all right? And the whole radio and sound system is in the top of this sustainer. The instructions are right here. Check this out, everybody loves this. It has soft close hinge on it. Uh, that's your uh, uh, audio level here, plus and minus. 
it's pretty simple right in here. It charges, I think it charges in three hours and it lasts forever. <laughs> I don't want to say forever, but it lasts a, a long time. And you can plug or just put your USB uh, right to it from your phone and you can do it that way or you can Bluetooth it. I'm gonna turn it on like this. If you want all the details on it, oh, if you just hit it quick, that tells you if it blinks three times, it's a full charge. You gotta hold it like this and now I'm ready. So let's see if I can sync with this now. Woo, I had it all set up earlier. <laughs> let's see if those televisions interfered with it again. Okay, I think I just paired with it. Uh, let's see. Uh, I did. Okay, so let's rock and roll. Check it out. I'm going to put it back to, and you guys, I think you can still, ooh, guess who this is? Woo! Okay, okay, that's a good hint. That's a good hint right there. Okay, so what if you're out on a job site, and this is top rock number one, and this is a question we get all the time, how do you sync them? The instructions are right in the lid, right here. Okay, but what I do is I labeled it out just for myself. It's pretty simple. I have a second top rock. I want it in the other room for the guys I'm working with. You're listening to a podcast. This is on the top of your sustainers or your CT. So what I'll do is I'll turn it on and play some music a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down a little. Okay, so you guys can still hear me. I'm gonna hold this Bluetooth. Gary, come over here. And I'm gonna hold it until it blinks. Okay, see it blinking? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and turn on number two. I'm gonna hold it on right here, okay. I'm gonna wait two or three seconds and then I'm gonna hold this Bluetooth. Now watch, you're gonna hear a beep. Okay, you just heard the beep. Now, if I turn it on. Okay, you can take this one. And this is for many. Okay, good. <laughs> And that is how you sync the top rocks. <laughs> I did that for Eric, because he's always getting the question, hey, I'm having a tough time syncing them. You can go back, I explained it exactly the same way in episode 90. But people don't know we have job site radios for you. And they're fantastic. Now, this is absolutely an amazing system. The sound coming out of the lid of the sustainer is, <laughs> It's incredible. There's a, a few speakers in here, and everybody thinks this is a speaker. No, this is bass reflex technology. So what happens is there's a membranes in there, and it just pushes the bass out so it fills the entire room. Absolutely fantastic. You got to hear it to believe it. <laughs> All right, so that's the top rock. Many will we'll crank that up in a few minutes. In stereo? In stereo. Hey, you know what's a really good song? Robert bought two of these because him and I were in here last summer listening to um, Freddie Mercury Queen with a Bohemian Rhapsody. It's amazing when you put both of those together. Okay, the reason we are really here today is we just released these. I wanted to call these, well, we got, we got Cis Rock, Top Rock, and we got the new GH25s, the no rock, okay. This is something we just released here in the States. And there's been a lot of phone calls on these. Um, and I want to keep this, there's a lot of technology in these. And basically, they're ear protection plugs. That's the simplest way I can describe them. Okay, they come in a case. Everybody thinks they're noise cancellation, they are not. And the reason we have that, and bear with me, I'm going to explain this as simply as possible, <clears throat> is they are basically an earplug that takes away 25 decibels of, of noise. So if you are in that situation for an extended period of time, you will hurt your ears or your hearing. So what this does is this helps you protect your ears. In other words, they're these. Okay, these are your earplugs. Okay, these aren't the Festool earplugs, but these are your typical earplugs where you roll them in, you tuck them in your ear, 
and it knocks out a lot of the decibel range that will damage your ears. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> this is leading to something. <laughs> okay, now I have a couple of charts here and a couple of statistics to talk about decibel ranges. Do you know one in three adult Americans, because this was based out of the US, it's estimated they are exposed to excessive noise levels. Did you know that many? Yeah. One in three. So the three of you are exposed to an excessive <laughs> noise level. What? Okay, so you guys have those decibel meters on your phones? I have them. I've always used them ever since I got my iPhone. They're fantastic because it really makes you realize about that, that noise around you. Okay, yeah, you got one right there on your... It tells me it's above 90. Oh, yeah, yeah, somebody else was telling me that, too. Okay, um, so I downloaded a, another chat here, and it said, okay, do you know what the normal conversation voice is? <laughs> normal. Normal. Stop doing that, Garrett. <laughs> Minnie, do you know? It's 60 decibels, 60 dBs. Mine's been clocked about 200. <laughs> okay. Uh, power tools, yeah, that's what we are, right? We're a power tool company? Yep. Okay, uh, what's the dB level of that, typical? And it's right there with lawnmowers. 120? No, it's, it's only 90. Huh. So when you get up, well, you said 120? 120 is jet airplanes oh. during takeoff. Okay, so that just gives you a, a range of what, okay, somebody whispering in a quiet library, that's 40 and 30, and something really faint is 20, is uh, leaves rustling, 20 decibels. So long story short, you're in an acceptable range is, I believe the acceptable range is below, between 70 and 80, but you don't want to be exposed that long in that area. So what you want to do is you want to cut out as much as possible. That's why whenever I'm in the shop, I used to use these. Okay, these are earplugs um, because that knocks it all out. But there's an inherent situation with that that I will cover that these now eliminate. I used to have a pair of headphones that had this feature in it, and I never quite realized it until... I realized then, why, why? So when I was doing some research on these uh, a few months ago, I had to know the why, and I finally found out the why. So <clears throat> if you, when you get these, not if, when you get these, because these are pretty awesome, uh, be patient with them. I had to be patient because I had to figure out some stuff. And well, let me explain. When you get these, come in here, young man. I mean, um, Garrett. It comes with the case, okay, and in, uh, right here you have a left and a right. Okay, pretty simple. It has a case, it's all LED. It comes with a little uh, charging cable. Let me grab it out of the wall here. I was charging these up because I've been using them. It comes with this little cable here to charge it up, just like that. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully today I can eliminate some of the confusion because I was confused. Inside here, it comes with all these little paws, and I go, are those for different applications? Absolutely not. No. What it is, is these are the ones that you want to test so it fits your ear properly. Okay? The ones that were installed on mine when they came in, let me take this out. You take the case out, you charge the case. Um, I have the statistic, these will last for 13 hours. And then when you put in the charging case, it lasts for 25 hours because just like a lot of pods out there, this is magnetic. You see the little magnets, you pop it in, it orientates it for charging. And all of these LEDs right here, when you pop it open, that says I have four, four bars or four dots, that means it's fully charged. And now when I pop it out, you'll see the two blue. If they were red, that means they're in there charging. That I think is simple. Um, the thing also for the, that's also magnetic up top when you shut it. So now this case is a charger once it's charged. Okay, so there's a lot of people out there that may say, wow, that's pretty cool, but there's a lot of technology out there already like that. 
Now, at home, I also have a pair of pods that are noise cancellation. And when I first got these, I said, oh, these cancel. No, you see these little foam pads? They act just like these. So they block out 25 decibels. That's where it gets its name, GHS 25, 25 decibels. The, the, the drop down in decibel range 25 is, uh, complies with OSHA, which a lot of these don't, complies with OSHA um, uh, standards. So that's something else to remember on the job site. <clears throat> when you put these in, and now these were the white ones that were threaded on. I did this, I took this off, because I want to say, okay, See that? And it's a coarse thread right here. You thread it on. And I tried a few of these. And I tried this one right here. And I went, okay. But it, you know what? That white one was good for my ear. Follow? In other words, let's go over here and look at all the different foams. This is the one that came with it. You know what? I've tried every one of these. Uh, let me pick this up off the floor. That's the one for Garrett later. Okay, I've tried every one of these. You know which one works best for me? It's because I have a small ear uh, orifice right here, or the diameter of my ear. <laughs> you know, working with Garrett, I feel like I'm back in high school. <laughs> you behave. Okay, but seriously, I tried every one of these. Now, let's look at the first three here. You see how they're short and they're delineated here, S3. Look, S1, S2, and S3. They are, the only difference in them is that they have a different diameter here. Now, when we go to L1, L2, and L3, they're all color-coded, you can see. It's the diameter of the one, but it's longer. So if you have a deeper hole, okay, in your ear, okay? Yes, I have two extra holes in my head. All right, right here is like, you know, hey, hey Minnie, yeah. I want to meet the person <laughs> that that plugs up. <laughs> okay, but once you put these, yeah, probably you, Big D, huh? Yeah, he's got some big ears. Okay. My dad had really big ears. He looked like a Volkswagen with the doors open. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> hey, Mo! <laughs> okay, so if I take this and I thread it on, these are perfect for me. And what I do is I crunch them and stick them in. You could tell this one's for the right because it says ah. And right here is the microphone. Uh, we also have it in another place. I don't know exactly where. There's your LED readout. But this whole area, and this is the part I had to realize and get used to, this part right here is where you touch it once or twice. And I'll tell you why you touch it once or twice. So come over here, Mr. Cameraman. And, oh, one, oh, 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 one more. And then we have these pods. These are not for noise cancellation. What these are for... Uh, or noise reduction more say these are like your typical uh, Shooters, but this is if you just want to listen to stuff on your Bluetooth Whether or, and it's a little more comfortable some people have said I don't know everybody the, This one right here. Okay, the white one is Perfect for me. It knocks out a ton of noise. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in I see where it's red That's actually putting a quick charge on there And there you go. All right so, when I have these, <laughs> hopefully I haven't talked too much so far. Mini, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to take this first board, put it over here, and then I'm gonna take you and bring you over here because I'm gonna have to cut on the capex. Okay? okay? Because the one thing that people don't understand, and you'll see it on the side of the box, this has what is known as aware technology. And people are going, what the heck does that mean? So when I put this on, and, and it's already at the top end of the aware technology, when I put this in, and what I like about this is as I put it in, I could tell you right now, I'm already Bluetooth to it. So I could take this and listen to Whip It or whatever. I can, but what you guys don't hear, and this is why this is difficult, <clears throat> is I can hear the faintest of noise in this room. It's the aware technology makes it, make, gives you the ability to hear better. And that sounds really weird. But what it does, 
okay, is what if you were using these in the shop and Minnie comes in or Garrett or Big D and say, they start talking to you, what do you do? You have to take these out. With these, these <clears throat> in the aware function, I can hear you talk. Say something to me, man. Hey, babe. Hey. <laughs> Did you hear that on my microphone? She said, hey, babe. Okay. But I can hear her. And that is what's really difficult to understand about this. This, these are able to be worn in the shop or on the job site. And then when I go to turn on something that's above 85 decibels, mini, subtract 80, 25 from 85. 60. Woo! Guess what? When I turn on my Capex, it cancels. It just took away 25 decibels. And now I have that enhanced awareness in the room. I don't have to take them out. No more sneaking up on you? No, <laughs> no more sneaking up on me. But you have to get used to it. And if I take it and tap it once, I can raise, I go like this. It's on the left ear. This is my left, right? If I tap it once, I can elevate it. Okay, if I tap it twice, there's four levels. I could take it down or I could do this. I can hold it right here and it'll beep. And it'll say off. Now, I'm having a difficult, say something. I said. Um, I can hear it, but it's muffled because guess what? I have 25 decibels of hearing protection. If I take it and I hold it again, tap it and hold it again, it says aware on. And now I'm going to hold it again. Hey, Sage. Okay, and guess what it says? Bluetooth connected. When you put them back in the charger, it automatically brings you to that aware function. Anything over 85 decibels, it cancels and takes, gives you that 25. It's a little concept that's hard to understand. Many, I had to wear these for about six, seven hours that day, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And she kept saying, how's it going? And I go, I'm getting used to it. Okay, hey, I gotta listen to my Bluetooth, watch this, on my right side once. Hang on a second. <laughs> I don't think I turned it on, wait a minute. Okay, there it is, I gotta turn it on. What a great song. You guys can't hear it, can you? Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right. So there you go. So what happens when you have these in? What happens when you have these in and you get a phone call? You got to take it out, right? Okay. Kind of annoying. Your phone's on the other side of the shop. You got to go all the way over, right? What if you just go like this? Someone calls and you go tap. And guess what? I got a phone call going on. There's, in the instruction manual, it shows you all of this. This quick stat guide. <clears throat> What's nice is one tap, you answer. Two taps to go back. Three taps to go back on tracks for your Bluetooth. So... The way I look at this is we started with this technology, okay? We went to the next level, and you know what's really cool about all these? The Bluetooth has progressed because now I just open these up and they sync really well. Uh, Garrett was using these recently with the microphone, and you only had them in one ear, didn't you? And it works great. The microphone is fantastic talking to people on Zoom or on a phone call. Any, anywhere you have Bluetooth. <clears throat> That's as simple as I could talk about the AWARE technology. It's one pod system for hearing protection. That's what they are, hearing protection that complies with OSHA standards, but also you don't have to take them out, okay, to answer your phone, to Bluetooth, right? Or to hear your colleague in the shop because I'll tell you what, man, when I was cutting on a table saw and somebody came up to me, I'd have to turn off the table saw, wait, right? 
which I still have to, but I'd have to take out my plugs and listen to that person in the shop, then put the plugs back in. Now I just go boom, tap, boom, I'm listening to everybody. That's what the aware function is for. Whew, you know what's really good about it? So when you walk into the office, you can eavesdrop on conversations. Mm, never mind. <laughs> okay, some of the little things on here I wanna call out, and we made it easy for everybody, is on the quick stat guide here, you know how to do this. We were used to this, you know, scanning menus. Uh, you just do that and it's a QR code. And what's great about that is the owner's manual, which I have kicking around here somewhere, uh, is online. <clears throat> it's probably, yeah, it's probably back here. It's online, but it also has a couple of great video tutorials that are super simple and uh, it'll help you remember how these things work. So hopefully I explain that. I'm just gonna go over really quick. Oh, let's think of it like this. All right, the aware function. You remember I'm saying it takes away 25 decibels? As soon as I turned on that Capex, you didn't hear it. I did, it dropped. It takes two milliseconds. And think of it like this. That may be 90, 100, depending on what I'm cutting. Come in here, Garrett, so you can see this. Look, think of it as a noise filter. I just happen to have this. It's almost like having a CT dust extractor filtering out. Instead of dust, it's filtering out noise. Watch, there's your 100 decibels, and coming out the other side, you're only hearing 75. So I know that's oversimplifying it, but that's what aware technology does. And now I can hear everybody in the room. I can actually hear Minnie's uh, maca dry erase maca on the board while I'm talking. Yeah, big day. Do we establish how many times the case will charge the headphones? A few, twice, uh, or a little more than twice, because if you run them 13 hours, mm -hmm. I think it's a 30 hour charge on there, or something like that. It's, you know where I got that information? Right on the Festool USA website. Mm -hmm. Cool, all right. It lasts a long time, <laughs> just like the, oh my, that top rock, uh, I, I get my rocks mixed up, sounds funny, but that um, cis rock, that thing will last weeks on an 18 volt battery, it's crazy. Okay, I am going to do this because I am too aware of the surroundings. Woo! So I'm gonna take, my, oh my God. I'm gonna tell you right now, when you use that aware and you take them out, boy, things get really quiet because it really enhances your environment. Oh. I can see a bunch of other reasons I would use these. <clears throat> okay, and hopefully I um, made it really simple about the plugs. You get all the plugs to test with it, so you know which ones, and you can get replacements in packs of 12, a dozen at a time. Okay, remember short versus long, and you have the different diameters depending on how big the opening in your ear is. Much better, isn't that, Garrett, huh? It said you learning over tiny. Okay, everybody, it is time. Minnie's been writing like a son of a gun. Wow, look at all the people. You know what, Minnie? Yeah. This is amazing. You know what's really cool about this? Is this is both sides. And I can't believe, look at all of this. Okay, everybody, here we go. We call out everybody who says, hey, it, if you haven't told us where you're from, please tell us where you're from. Minnie is still writing. She's on the fourth side of a board. Okay, here we go. We have Chris from Minneapolis, Andrew from Toledo, Ray from Pensacola, Florida, Michael from Edmonton, Doug from Zionsville. How you doing, Doug? We have Ed from the Big Island. Which one's that? The big one. Hawaii? Hawaii's the big one, right? Yes. Well, Hawaii's the state. Yeah, no, but Hawaii, no. That's the Big Island. That's the Big Island. Oh. Then Oahu is where Honolulu is, and that's the capital. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, come on now. Look at Garrett staring at me. <laughs> what island are you from? Oahu, okay. Hey, we have Ed from the Big Island, Joe from Waseca, Illinois, Manolito from Benjamin, Bel Belgium, um, from Belgium. We have Rob from Cinnaminson, that's New Jersey, Dale from Swadlincote, England, Johnny Rocket from Ga Gates Creek, Oregon. See how I said Oregon? Not Oregon? 
Okay, good. We have Bo Hoover from Alabama. Ruck from Chick Chester. How you doing? Uh, no, Russ from Chick Chester. We have Leo from Holland. Des from Harrigan, England. Michael C. from Winchester, Virginia. Craig and Tyler from West Virginia. How you guys doing? Christopher from Malta or Chris from Malta. We have Blake Weber from Nevada, California. How you doing, Blake? Paul, Cheryl, and Sam from AWFS Vegas. How you guys doing? Woo! Paul from Reading, Berkshire, UK. Dork! It's him! Hey! Dork! From Dayton. Woo! We have Rick from Sunny Blackpool, UK. Rob from South Devonshire, England. Dana from Yelkot, Washington. Soren from Denmark. Jason and Yana from Granite Falls, Washington. We have Jacob from Rhode Island. Bermuda Steve, how are you doing? We have Yuzu from Paramaribo, Suriname. It seems like Years and years ago, I had to look up how to say Paramaribo, Suriname. I remember you doing that. Man, that used to bother me. Anthony from Staten Island, New Jersey. I was probably still mispronouncing it, many men. We have Petri from Yolari, fin Yolarvi, Finland. I had to look that one up. Ronzo from Mississauga, Ontario. Ant, my main man, Ant from Fontana. Jerry from Sugar Grove, Illinois. Joe from Acre. It's Joe. From Akron, Ohio. Michael from Paris, France. Ed from Elk Woodworking. <coughs> wow. We have Mike Martinez from Austin, Texas. Bill from Baton Rouge. Steve from Fort Wayne, Hawaii. Steve. Roll from Wolvega, the Netherlands. How you doing, Roll? John from Peasleyville. Peasleyville. Yep, okay. <laughs> Craig from Hollyport, UK. Dave and Kim from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Aapo uh, uh, from uh, 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 Finland. Safe from London, UK. Nicholas from Woodhaven, New York. Nafal from Morocco. Did I get that? I think so. Nafal from Morocco. Johnny from Hoffman States, Illinois. Joshua from Sun City, Santa Florida. Joseph from Bellevue, Nebraska. Benny from Betty's Bay, South Africa. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. That's so cool. Dan from Whitestone, New York. CRWYS. Oh, Minnie, come here. <laughs> come here. From Lanfair Pualguap Yinguil. Gill, North Wales. Good job. Not bad? Not bad. Okay, tell me how I did. Okay, Adam from Union, Maine. How are you, Adam? Jason from Puyallup, Washington. Oliver from Southern California. David from Israel. Swempa from Halstead, Sweden. Carrie from Dallas, Texas. Terry from Salt Lake City, Utah. Olivia from Massachusetts. Leon. <laughs> You don't, you're not as jumpy as the unit. Leon from Atlanta, Georgia. Spectrician, that's Willie. Matt from Newark, Ohio. Maddie, my main man, Maddie from Cincy. Mac from Crimpenadelec, Netherlands. They're getting longer. Jason from Fenton, Michigan. Woodcraft, Dayton, Ohio. How you guys doing? You know my man, Derek. Woo, from Dayton. Mike from Puyallup. Johnny O from Atco, New Jersey. Tom and Kelly back again together from Eatonton, Georgia. Woo! Stephen from Bellevue, Nebraska. Gregory from Buzzard, Buzzards Bay, Cape Cad. There's no traffic out on the Cape right now. No, Whatever. Jim from the Warped Woodsman, Portland, Oregon. Jamie from Chalethum, England. Cassaba from Hungary. Yeah, I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. Chuck from to lay lip, Washington. That's the enunciation. He wrote it out for you. To lay lip, Washington. How you doing from to lay lip? Whoop, 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 whoop. We have <laughs> Daniel from Bear Twill, Switzerland. Chris and Rick from Newfoundland, Canada. Got a couple newfies on board. Chris from Virgins, Vermont. Richard and George from Snoring Bulldog, Newcastle upon Tyne. George is the snoring. Bulldog. Oh, hey, jo George, how are you? The snoring bulldog. And Richard, his owner, from Newcastle upon Tyne. Be willing to bet that's in England. Mark from Anaheim. Dave Embry from Hatville. And he's married to Gwen. Is he? 
It's in his quiet there without us. It is. It, oh, he's at Hatville. Okay, Dan from Kingman, Arizona. Dennis from Las Vegas. Jay from Arkansas. No, J A R J R. Whew, from Regina, Saskatchewan. Steve from Nashville, Tennessee. Monty from Canton, Connecticut. Jeff from Clarksburg, Maryland. Whew. Derek from Kokomo. Agwen Leo. Agwen. Agwen Ello from London, UK. Tim from Livingston, New Jersey. Angel from AWFS. Woo! How you doing, Angel? Dylan and Rebecca from Cardston, Alberta. Jim from Pensacola, Florida. Eric from Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> we have Matt from Tinley Pacula, Noise. We have Randy from Morrell, Georgia. Hide to name from Atlanta, Georgia. Henry and Zolo from Sweden. We have Villain Dajik from the Netherlands. Alex from Moreland, Kansas. Oh my goodness, and it keeps going. <laughs> yeah, traffic is insane in Cape Cod today. It always is in the summertime. <laughs> okay, Amir from Bartlett, Illinois. Kenneth Smith. James from Quartz Hill, California. Mike from Cali. Monica from Paris. Okay, so Nicholas, welcome to the Festool user family. Check out episode number Sanding Rotex 150 CT48. What number is it, eight? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's great. Oh no, it's one of the first one or twos or threes. I don't know, but it was great. And he's new to the family. He's never had a Festool well, before. Welcome, Nicholas. There you go. And Randy from Moreland, Georgia. Jim from Pensacola, Florida. And I think that's it. Holy mackinoli, Minnie. We're gonna. Hey, I got Amia from Bartlett, Illinois. Okay. Robin from La Morada. From Isla Morada? La Morada. La Morada. Who is it? Robin. Robin, how are you? From what Minnie said? Rob from Rob Morada. La Morada. La Morada. La L.A. L.A. Mirada. Oh, yeah, Mirada. Good job. La Mirada. And it's Robin from there. Okay. Garrett, <laughs> are you doing okay with the camera? Arriba. Arriba, arriba. Okay, everybody. You know what? I need a quick sip to end this day. Ah, nothing's better than a donkey. Okay, everybody. I want to call out Judah, poet, and sailor because he has his sign up. They're close. They're good friends of ours down there in Plainfield, Illinois. And that is going to wrap up our day. Hopefully, I kept it simple enough for the GHS 25s. Hopefully I answered all the questions. There's a lot more technical I left out of it, but they're wonderful. They work. And uh, hopefully everybody has a great weekend. What do I always say, Minnie? Love we love you, everybody. Okay, thank you for being part of our Fest Tool family on Fridays like this. Next week we have another great episode planned. I say that every week. <laughs> but we're going to be here next Friday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time right here in Lebanon, Indiana. Everybody, have a great weekend. And Big D, I think this is a wrap.